the Chaos War has ended. Hercules has defeated the Chaos King, and everything has been set right in the universe. Except the Hulk isn't too happy, and he especially isn't too happy that his friends weren't healed and set right when everything else was, and he's decided to go straight to Mount Olympus to talk with the big man himself about it. Meanwhile, right off the coast of Long Island, people are pretty shocked to wake up and see a giant Mount Olympus in the waters, with the massive form of Zeus standing right beside them. They're probably even more shocked when Bruce Banner shows up. While everyone is trying to keep their distance, he just starts walking straight across the water towards Olympus. When he reaches the other side, well who's there to greet him but Hercules? Bruce asks Herc to help him and heal his friends and family, basically to set everything right. Banner is actually so overcome with emotion and exhaustion that he actually starts crying to Hercules, begging everything to be made okay. But Hercules isn't the All-Father anymore, and there's nothing that he can do. He had spent all of his power stopping the Chaos King, and since Hercules can't do anything, well Bruce asks who's in charge now. Hercules says that Zeus is back on the throne, and so Bruce decides that that's the guy he has to go talk to. But Hercules warns him and says that his dad is a god. He doesn't think like they do, and if Bruce gets him angry, well Zeus might kill him. But Banner isn't worried. Before he heads out, he asks Hercules to punch him. Herc gladly obliges and instantly transforms Bruce into the Hulk. Now Zeus knows all of this is happening, and he isn't too happy about the idea of a mortal telling him what to do, so he decides that it's time to send Hulk on his way. The first one to attack him is Poseidon. The god of the seas sweeps the Hulk up in a powerful wave, sends him crashing into a nearby forest. Then in a very un-Hulk-like move, well, the Hulk lays low until Poseidon thinks he's beaten him and then leaves. Traveling through the woods, the Hulk is then attacked by Artemis and her hunting dogs. He makes it through her barrage of arrows, gets past her hounds, and makes it to Mount Olympus itself. Hulk begins to climb and climb, before being hit with the freezing breath of Boreas. But not even this is enough to slow the Hulk down. Once he reaches the top, well, he's hit by Apollo with all the power of the sun, yet still the Hulk presses onward. Outside the very gates of Olympus, the Hulk is swarmed by Gorgons, Cyclopses, Centaurs, and other creatures, but he easily plows through all of them. After all, it is the Hulk. Finally entering Olympus, Hulk is greeted by Zeus and Hera. Zeus remarks about Hulk's determination, but he's still not too impressed, and strikes Hulk with a massive lightning bolt. Knowing that the Hulk is about to confront Zeus and fearing for his safety, Hulk's friends have tried to go after him, only to be attacked by a massive sea monster on the way. Scar isn't too concerned. They've fought plenty of monsters before, but She-Hulk warns him that gods are a whole different thing. And with that, just to prove the point, well, a massive lightning bolt explodes on top of Mount Olympus. That massive lightning bolt was Zeus attacking Hulk, punishing him for even daring to tell the All-Father what to do. But while Hulk's definitely been knocked down, he's not been knocked out. Hera warns Hulk that he can't take Zeus down. Zeus is infinitely more powerful than him. But Hulk isn't hearing it. In fact, Hulk doubles down, saying that Zeus is a coward that he owes the Hulk family because they were so important stopping the Chaos King. Zeus says that's true, they were important in that fight, but they've also stood against the gods and Mount Olympus before. So no, Zeus won't restore the Hulk's family, but he is going to grant Hulk's request to beat him to death in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. Hulk just says, game on. 
and sends Zeus crashing into a building with the first punch. Zeus responds with an even more powerful punch and begins to beat the crap out of the Hulk, ultimately knocking him all the way down off Mount Olympus. He actually ends up crashing right next to the boat with his friends, then fights the giant monster, tells them to get out of here, and leaps up to the top of the mountain again, ready to continue the fight. And Zeus is just there waiting, ready to continue kicking the crap out of the Hulk, even punching him so hard that he's turning all his insides into a messy pulp, causing Hulk to throw up blood. Hera walks up to him, wondering why he's continuing to fight when he's for sure gonna die. But Hulk doesn't care about dying. He just wants the gods to give his family what they need. Hera looks into the Hulk's mind, learning about his friends and his family, and actually finds it funny that Bruce Banner, an atheist, was willing to sacrifice his life to the gods for the sins of others in order to get a miracle. Well, Zeus is back with one of the coldest lines ever and hits Hulk with yet another punishing blow, sending Hulk halfway down the mountain and impaling him on a rock, causing him to black out. When Hulk woke back up, well, he found himself shackled to the rocks by Hephaestus. Hulk is gonna pay the price for pissing off Zeus. And just like when Prometheus was punished for giving fire, Hulk is going to be punished too, and a bunch of vultures begin to feast on him. And because the Hulk is the Hulk, and he's got an incredible healing factor, well they feast on his body for days on end. That is, until Hercules and the rest of the Hulk gang finally show up to free him. They never stopped fighting to reach the top of Mount Olympus, and they're here to free him all of which is being watched by Hera and Zeus. Hera complains that Zeus has always been so easy on Hercules, and that he shouldn't have shown any mercy to the Hulk in letting him live. But Zeus says that he actually did exactly what he meant to do. He had taught the Hulk the true extent of his powers. And for Hulk's real punishment? Well, the Hulk brought punishment on himself, years and years ago. Well, that's our story for today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.